Alberto Malero is one that I have seen grow to just some fantastic numbers in some of my other saves this season. So let's take a look. At the start of the game, Alberto Malero is an 18-year-old Spanish boy contracted to UD Las Palmas for two and a half to 7.4 million is what you can, well, what they could say you can get him for. 2.3K per week until 2026, and he's just a squad player. But he's got some pretty good numbers so far, especially if you're in the lower division, lower side of the table. Uh, technique of 16, passing of 14, first touch and dribbling of 15s apiece, not too bad, and hopefully can only grow from there. Mentals are not too bad. Uh, flair and vision of 15 are pretty good, but some of the physicals definitely need to climb. Overall, he's pretty okay for a non-wonder kid right now. Sadly, he has no career milestones after having 35 appearances with three goals for the top flight uh, Las Palmas right now. He's been in the top flight for the last couple of years. His biography claims that he's a he has a growing reputation among soccer fans in Spain. But from what I've seen in my save currently, uh, he's, his reputation is definitely growing far beyond Spain. But he has a high potential, and I really want to see how he is in the next 10 years. So let's check it out. Now, in my AC Milan save, Alberto Malero went to Liverpool right after Las Palmas and has done fantastically there. Uh, just needs a little more game time. Here, however, he went to PSG right after Celtic. And look, I mean, his mentals are fantastic. Loads of 16s, 19, 17, 16. Uh, he's doing really well. His acceleration and pace are not great. So he's not going to be the, the guy booking it up and down the wing. But his agility of 16 is fantastic. Uh, his technicals... I, it could be the bug that FM has, or have had all season. Uh, it could be just that he doesn't grow. So technicals, I'm going to just skip over right now. But contracted to PSG, 13.5 to 41 million. So he's still cheap. He is not expensive at all. 250k per week, however, is a doozy for some, for some groups, especially as a squad player. You can see he's had two starts, 16 off the bench, 15 goals, two assists, and 7-0 average rating. I'm actually wondering who their first choice is, and those are the only two matches that he has actually started. 23 off the bench in total, 695 average rating. Those are the only goals and only assists that he scored this season. But he moved to PSG in 24, uh, and he's been here ever since. 220 appearances, 46 goals, 13 caps with one goal. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go to his career stats. He moved to Celtic for 16 and a quarter, did very well. I don't know, only 12 there, so he must have moved in the winter. But 736 average rating, 739 the year after. And then for PSG, moved to in 2024 for 20 million, has done very well, minus this 128 29 season where he's had a 688. 25 total appearances, three goals, one assist. He's not this goal scoring machine. And I will say, except for this season in Celtic, he's not for 24 25, he's not really an assist man either. Uh, only a couple of, you know, a handful of assists every season. However, seven O's almost every year minus two. I it's still one definitely to take a look at. If we look at his injuries, only one major, two moderates. Everything else is slight and there's really not a long list at all. Uh, so if you're worried about injuries, it doesn't look like you really need to be. Milestone, he has plenty. Uh, so for Las Palmas in 23, promoted. He was bought by Celtics for 16.25. Ladbrokes Premiership Championships or Champions. Bought by PSG in t for 20 million. Named in this PSG Seasonal Best 11 already. Uh, League One Conferama Champions. He's going to see that a lot. FIFA Club World Cup winners. Trophy de Champion winners. You're going to see a lot of those overall. Named in a lot of Seasonal Best 11. So he's done fantastically. Coupe de France winners. So he's won pretty much everything in France. He does need to win some Champions League and some Europa League if you want to bring technically everything. So PSG is still having that Europe drought, apparently. But league-wise, they're winning as much as you can, it looks like. It Sadly, it looks like he doesn't have any personal trophies in his cabinet. He does, however, have 19 competition wins through his career. The Coupe de France FIFA World Cup with Spain. Oh, he does have a World Cup win. There you go. I didn't, I didn't see that. FIFA Club World Cup, Trophy de Champion, at Ladbroke's Premier Chip champion and then league one conferama so he does have a bunch of trophies in his cabinet uh just none personal 
At 31 years of age, we've moved on to 2035. He has gone to Barcelona this past season and has been there the entire time. He's a regular starter. Wow, he has gone down 110K per week. However, he is not for sale. He's only 31. Uh, so La Liga, 13 appearances, six off the bench, four goals, eight assists, six or seven six zero average rating. He's got some fantastic numbers here, albeit he's not, you know, he is losing out on some games though. Uh, the last couple of seasons, the only 18 appearances, 18, 19 now. So he's not getting all the games, but it, he did move on a free. So that was pretty nice for Barcelona to pick up. But however, his average rating looks fantastic. And look, four goals, eight assists this season. So he's already topped his seasonal best for assists. He almost got there with goals, uh, but overall, he's still looking pretty fantastic. Injury-wise, a couple of minors, so... I really, you can't even say that that's keeping him out of the, all those games. Milestones, Super Copa de España winners, and named in seasonal best 11 for Barcelona. But overall, while he does have a lot, couple of numbers that you know need to be looked at a little bit better, heading is not great, marking is not great, so defensively he may have some issues. Uh, and aggression is only eight. And his physicals, you know, his acceleration and pace obviously are, are starting to slow down now. But we're never at the 10 years in, weren't really up to par anyway. So he's not the paciest of people. So there are some issues that you might want to keep in mind. However, with that lack of injury issue uh, and the fact that he's looking, I mean, he's got some seriously good stats, even at 31 right now. Uh, yes, we've seen better at this age, but overall helping Barcelona out tremendously. So I would say definitely one to keep on your scouting books. And it doesn't look like he's going to be sold for all that much. It's just his wages that you might have to deal with. But that is it for Alberto Molero and his 10 plus year career. I am Safian FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Mm -hmm.